A very scary situation for a pastor in Virginia that has now left him in the ICU and his family asking for urgent prayers as they go through this. We're going to get into all the details here in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blonde Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. This event took place on Tuesday, January 30th at the home of Pastor Kevin Corey and his wife. And what started out as just, you know, a simple burning of some documents turned into an emergency situation very quickly. Pastor Kevin Corey was outside in his backyard. He was burning documents at the time and, well, to try and accelerate the fire, he was using a gas can. The gas can got too close to the fire and that gas can ended up exploding right in the pastor's hands. Now, uh, witnesses in the area, neighbors, uh, they described this as sounding like an earthquake when the explosion first happened. And even one neighbor's uh, security cameras and everything captured all of this on video. Uh, described the pastor, you know, going up in, literally going up in flames and a plume of smoke. Thank God, here's the thing. Thank God that his wife was home at the time because had he been there alone, we might be talking about a completely different situation right now. Now, his wife was able to get out there and extinguish, extinguish the flames to the best of her ability, injuring herself in the process. Uh, the pastor was later evacuated to a hospital where now we have learned that he has suffered over 60% of third degree burns to his body and is still in the ICU as we speak. Now I mentioned, you know, his wife for her part, she suffered burns to her hands and was treated uh, and later released. She's going to be okay. But for Pastor Kevin Corey, somebody who was serving as the youth pastor for Calvary Road Baptist Church in Alexandria, Virginia, had just recently apparently got a, a senior pastor position at another church. And the family was in the process of, you know, they were going to be selling their home and they were going to be moving to wherever this new church was where he was going to, you know, get this promotion as senior pastor. We don't know what that church is. But now all of those plans are seemingly on hold as for Pastor Corey he has a long road of recovery to go here. His daughter, Jenna Gersha, has been posting on social media updates for her father. And, you know, again, although still in the ICU, they did say uh, that recently, because right now he's in and out of consciousness, but recently he had, was able to open up his eyes and even squeeze their hands and, and wiggle his toes. So that, they said, was a very encouraging sign. But uh, one thing to remember here is that the pastor is going to be having multiple surgeries. In fact, they're saying that he could have up to 20 surgeries now uh, as it comes to these burns on his body. And so the family is asking uh, to please pray that the grafts take to his body without a problem and that there won't be any infection that comes out of this in any way and that uh, he will be able to, you know, make a complete recovery. And again, this is going to be a very long process. Um, he is very fortunate to be alive. And I know that the family is, is very thankful. And again, had he had been alone, you know, this could have ended up being something completely different. Uh, you know, a lot of questions, you know, why was, you know, why did God allow it to happen and everything? And, you know, we can, it's very easy to go down that road. I think for the family, they're just happy that the pastor is alive and that at least he is responding so far uh, to the early treatments. You know, they did neurological scans and, and everything appeared to look okay, uh, but there was going to be a lot more updates to come of this. Now, the family is asking anybody, if you are able to help them out, whether, you know, you donating blood, plasma, uh, I know that they started a meal train as well for the family, just regular donations. Whatever you can do, uh, they are asking for your help at this time if you can contribute. And, you know, I want to open up to anybody if you are, especially somebody if you attended Calvary Road Baptist Church, 
uh, where Pastor Kevin Corey was serving as the youth pastor there, and you would like to chime in on this, uh, please feel free to do so in the comment section. And, you know, even if, you know, you know the church that he was going to be going to to move on to as senior pastor, if you're a member of that congregation and you would like to chime in too, uh, please feel free to do that. Here's one thing that I can tell you, because I've seen this in my own life, and I know many of you have as well. Prayer definitely works. You know, the Bible talks about, you know, when two or more are gathered together. And, you know, I can tell you there's a lot more than two that are gathered together that will pray for Pastor Kevin Corey for his complete recovery in this and that he can get back to preaching the Word of God. But also pray for his family, pray for his wife, pray for his daughter Jenna, you know, their friends, and also everybody that was a part of the churches that Pastor Kevin Corey was associated with because they're all hurting right now as well. Um, we serve a mighty God and a miracle working God, and there's nothing that he can't do. It's something for us to remember. And again, I welcome your thoughts on this down below. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours. Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior, when you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Prayers going out to the entire Corey family. For God to be with you all, bring you peace and comfort at this time, and bring complete healing to Pastor Kevin. In Jesus' name. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk really soon.